Hey Karen, I just noticed the uh, Outback Outlaw just sent us a uh, seven question challenge. You feel like playing? Sure, sounds like fun. Hello homebees. So uh, the first question on the uh, seven question challenge from uh, Outback Outlaw is gonna be, what was it that inspired you to buy your first motorcycle? Well, I started riding like 25 years ago and I was always on the back of Mark's bike even though I knew how to ride a motorcycle and then a few years later we had a good friend of ours bought a Sportster and he kind of let me borrow it for 10 years I rode it for 10 years nice friend and, yeah. <laughs> and um, it finally became time to take it back so we took it back to him he sold it and then I was back on the back of Mark's bike again which I enjoy being with him but I had the itch. I wanted to ride my own motorcycle. Um, so that year for my birthday, he bought me Pearl and I've been riding my own. And she actually started crying. I did cry. And a friend of mine asked if she had buyer's remorse because he couldn't figure out why she was crying. And she said, no, I can't believe this motorcycle's mine. Yeah, he so. thought I was having a breakdown because we just <laughs> spent all that money on the motorcycle. And I'm like, no, I'm just crying because I'm happy. <laughs> and, uh, I have always loved motorcycles as long as I can remember. Mini bikes, I mean, you name anything with two wheels, I've always loved that. And uh, so when I was in the military and uh, it came time for me to get out of the military, uh, one of my coworkers said, uh, you know, hey, I've got these two bikes here. One was a Triumph and one was a 79 AMF Sportster. And uh, he said, I'll sell you that Sportster for a uh, thousand bucks. So that was my very first bike and wow. absolutely loved it. Uh, he offered to sell me the Triumph for 500 and I still regret to this day not buying that one too because it was an original older Triumph motorcycle. But uh, did love the Sportster and that was, uh, I guess I should say that was my first Harley. Not necessarily my first motorcycle, but that that's the one that really meant probably the most to me as far as a first bike. And so for our next question, question number two is, what type of riding do you prefer? Solo, group? twisties are straight. Um, I know I like a little bit of a combination of both. Um, we do, we've done a lot of riding out east where it's all straight and uh, flat, but occasionally I do like to head up toward the foothills or the front range up in the mountains and uh, we've got quite a few tw twisties up there and uh, I enjoy that also. So I guess I'd say a combination uh, of both. And as far as solo or group, I definitely prefer a group if it's a small group to ride in a group. Um, I probably prefer the straight. Um, I don't mind the twisties, but we live in the mountains. We live where the mountains are pretty close by. And <laughs> he doesn't like looking over the edge. <laughs> he's laughing. <laughs> I'm afraid of heights. So here's the deal. Um, when we plan a trip in the mountains, usually it consists of us going up one way where the drop off is not <laughs> on the side we're riding on. Cause I don't mind coming back as long as the drop off isn't close to me. So I am afraid of heights. It does freak me out a little bit. Um, but the twisties are fun. We went on a ride a few years ago with some friends and we were on some switchbacks and that was probably one of the best rides. I had a lot of fun that day, but um, so there's my story. I'm afraid of heights, but I don't mind either, but I'd rather do straight because I think I can let my mind go a little bit more. Um, and yeah, I don't mind groups. We have a lot of group friends that we ride with. And I've said in many videos, my favorite person in the whole world to ride with is him. So it's usually the two of us when we're out riding. And uh, that's, that's, that's it. So next question. Okay. Question number three. What is your favorite trip? Day, weekend, or longer? Um, so I don't think I've went longer than a day so i guess day that's what i say how about you yeah generally we do day trips i think uh outside of a day trip around here of course sturgis um, oh, yeah. i've usually made it up there about every other year um but from here that actually is a day trip so i guess we'll have to say day trips for right now until we get to the uh <laughs> day <sighs> week or longer okay goals goals next question <laughs> okay Question number four. What is your favorite ride destination? Uh, usually during the summer and uh, spring, I participate in a lot of uh, 
the poker runs mm. and uh, they're mapped out usually all over Colorado and I usually end up in some small town uh, some small tavern or craft brewery somewhere I've never been before and you get to meet the locals and you get to meet uh, you know your fellow bikers and so that's probably one of my uh, favorite destinations is just the uh, doing the poker runs and, and seeing places that I haven't been before sure yeah, that is fun. I think mine is probably future. So we went to the Blue Whale in Oklahoma a few years ago. And I have to tell you that that trip stuck in my mind. And it was one of the funnest trips we went on. And we've talked, we want to do a trip on Route 66. And the Blue Whale sits right off the, the Route 66. So we want to do that trip on our bikes. And I think that would probably be one of my favorites that's a that was a great destination if you it haven't was. seen it before um route 66 the blue well uh, an individual i guess years and years ago had made the blue well for his wife on their yeah. anniversary um it's, cute. it's a great destination it's still very cute it's changed over the years but it's it's still there it used to be a big swimming hole for all the neighbor local kids they don't let you swim there anymore but just the story behind it is very cute and uh there's like tons of turtles in there. there so Karen is. and I renamed the, the swimming hole Turtle Lake. <laughs> Turtle Lake, and it's got the blue whale. So if you haven't been there or you haven't seen it, go on Check YouTube it and look it up. It's really yeah. cool. Okay, so what is the biggest lesson motorcycling has taught you? Question number five. Um, I, I would just say for myself, just to keep keep it upright. I have dumped so many bikes in my life. It's not even funny. So. So, question number five for me would probably be just uh, enjoying the moment, you know, uh, taking time to relax, taking in all the sights, the smells, everything. So, I would say that's uh, the biggest lesson that uh, motorcycling has taught me in life is just to be in the moment. Question number six, any words of wisdom for somebody who's thinking about riding? I, I would definitely suggest a riding course. And uh, along with that, I would also highly recommend, as we've learned from our son who was in a recent accident, that uh, you wear the proper gear. Definitely important. I know everybody talks about the freedom and the joy of riding, but there's a lot of responsibility that comes with it, and it's it's not just hopping on and taking off. On the that would be. Cool. I agree. Definitely have the proper gear on. Um, Ride with somebody till you feel comfortable uh, being on your own, and don't take don't take the bike for granted. Don't get complacent because I think after you start riding for a few months, you start getting a little comfortable, and I think that's when the accidents start happening. So enjoy the ride, enjoy your bike, but always just remember it's a machine. Good. Yeah, and I think uh, also don't. Don't outride your skills. Oh, well, that's true. Stick uh, stick within your limits and. Or your angels, either. Yeah. <laughs> Don't outrun your angels. <laughs> that's my advice. Okay. One more question. Okay. So last question is, what would be your big destination ride? We got one planned, don't we? Yeah, I think uh, I'd like to get back to Missouri and maybe ride and visit with our uh, fellow. Vloggers so out vloggers there. Out there. Yeah, we got so. a couple of them that we've already talked to and we want to meet up with and have a ride with them. But that's probably our big one is maybe ride from here out to Missouri, huh? Yeah, and for those who don't know, we're we're here in Colorado, and uh, so it wouldn't be that long of a trip, and I think it'd be enjoyable. Yeah, and it would probably be my first long. More than a day trip. Yeah, more than a day <laughs> trip. So. Um, so that's our seven questions, and we would like to pass our challenge on to Red Beard. Who else? Um, Bell's Right. One more. And Ozark HD. Okay, so talking to you guys. Tag, you're <laughs> Thanks, it. Thanks, guys. See you're ya. It. Bye, See homies. Ya. Bye.